Hi guys. Celsius and I was covered in fur. <laughs> just like de so dehydrated and so physically I just remember like I need to get through this day, I need to get through this day, and I was just buckled in, so it took like I just smashed it though. That was uh, a tough 
tough time, but... Yeah, I, I spent one day in uh, isolation clothes, and I mean, <laughs> it was horrible. So I, I would look at you and Zach and just be like, that is terrible. And we had the whole cool army there, too, and remember, they kept on running out with, like, all those in All the tennis balls? And that's when, the, that when there was the crane? Uh, yeah. That day? yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was brutal. And everybody had, like, ice, ice bags, like, pinned to the inside of their outfits. Um, but... Yeah, I think emotionally one of the hardest days. I mean, the first one was definitely the scene where Echo tells Bellamy that Octavia's dead. Oh. Which turns out not to be. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I can die. I was just thinking of that too. Really? Now cry. Now cry. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, this year too, there was the bar scene where Echo's like walking the line between. You know, on the, you know, she's talking about the past backstory. That was like a bit of a tightrope for me to walk this year. So, those ones for me. Do you want to go? Or, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. There's just been. I mean, as you know, there's been a lot of emotional stuff on the show, and a lot of uh, physical stuff. I mean, my physically, um, that my fight with Anya was like that was. It was probably the most fun as well as like the most challenging physically. Um, you would probably, I mean, you've been hung upside down. You've been like, yeah, 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 I've had some horrible days, that's yeah. for sure. Um, yeah, like being hung upside down. I think you were there. That was my yeah. first day at work. That was pretty, that was shocking. Um, the whole torture sequence is really bad. Um, but, you know, in terms of hard days, you know, there, I can't really talk too much about it, but the days where I was directing and performing were probably the hardest ones. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you did it like a champ. Yeah, you did. Oh. <laughs> um, so, my question is, out of all the characters, which one do you relate to the most? Um, probably Monty, because he hasn't really murdered millions of people. <laughs> Probably. Someone asked me earlier today, how, like, what do you think your characters would be like here in real life? And I'd be like, they'd be in jail. <laughs> That's where they'd be. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, sorry. There you go. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to steal your answer. It's a good one. Can we pass it down the line? Yeah, pass it down the line. I think that's perfect. I'm going to kidnap that one. And just Chris is just the best. Yeah. Yeah, he is. You want to be Chris Larkin. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
question is, if you had a chance to put a musical episode on the 100, <laughs> would you do it and why? I think it goes. <laughs> I mean, they, they, Jason tries to do it, do like try. I think yeah. didn't Jasper sing and yeah, yeah, Sophie sure. sing. Oh yeah, and and sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he can sing for this drink or the necklace thing. Yeah. I mean, I think Jason tries to infuse it. He's got a very eclectic uh, collection of music. Um, but yeah, I don't think Melody sings. He might cry sing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what song. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what song. I think like I don't know many musicals, but I feel like Little Orphan Annie is like you know, Echo is just like solo, rolling around like you know, no family, just rolling through life. But <laughs> oh, didn't mean to make any sense. Thank you guys. Thank you. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> Sorry. Um, with everything that happened in season six, how will it change your characters? Well, <laughs> I'm, uh, mine's a kind of a special case, <laughs> as there are two different ones that I'm yeah. playing. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, like, it's how, it's, how has Clark, how will Clark change? I mean, you can't really get into it. Yeah. Season's not over. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think, you know, uh, yeah, I, actually I can't. I, I, yeah. I can't really. Can I? Mm. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we, 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 we still want to give that job. I know, and even for you as well, like, what happens with Echo is very, like, it's like, yeah. 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 yeah, it's kind of like, wait, like, see. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sorry, love. <laughs> love is never ending. Yeah, we're still trying to keep our jobs. changes, though, yeah. <laughs> You're, you look amazing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a great outfit. Well done. Thank you. Hey, um, so my question is, I know Bobby already answered this, and I get it, but if you could say one word for the whole day, what word would it be? Whole day. Um, today? Like for today? Yeah, just today. I know your answer last time was coffee. I don't know if you changed it. Oh, right. Yeah, I've actually stopped drinking caffeine. Uh, but it might be coffee again because of that. <laughs> I haven't done a con in a while, so I'm a little bit tired. Um, I can I say three? You know what, we can all say the one that you want to say. If you want to say three, yeah. we can make a sentence for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the conspiracy. Okay. Schwa. The. The. Delicious. <laughs> uh, 
Um, ah, uh, there are so many. Um, and it's so long ago. <laughs> What's your favourite Clark Lexus scene? Uh, oh. The first time they met. What's that? Uh, the event. Yeah, actually, you know what? Shooting that episode is pretty, was pretty amazing. Yeah, and getting to, you know, work with Alicia for the first time was like, we didn't, we didn't know yet where we were going, but we were, I was like, oh, what a breath of fresh air, like, because she was so natural and good. So that's a good one. I'm going to go with that. Thank you. Um, I think... With Echo, I mean, I, there's two things I admire about her. One is her resilience, um, and the other <laughs> is when, like, you know, when she has her family, her chosen family, she will defend them to the death. And so there was like that moment where Bellamy walks in and, and she just stands up and she's like, "When do we go to war? We're gonna, you know, mess these people up. Like, well, let's do it." So she's really, really loyal to and protective of, you know, the people that she cares about. Thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, there, there is something that I, I forgot to mention. If anyone uh, is mobily challenged and you want to ask a question, I know a lot of you are up front, so you can just raise your hand and we can get a microphone to you uh, so you can ask your questions. Okay. And we're going back to Tamara's side. Hi, how are you? Um, so if you were trapped on a desert island, which character and which actor from the show would you want to be trapped with? <laughs> Chris Larkin. <laughs> uh, character? Character, we'd probably want, we would probably want Monty, wouldn't we? Or would we want... We? Oh, well, yeah, well, yes. Well, we... Individually. Individually. I... I would take Monty. He's yeah, super he's, he's resourceful and not food, aggressive. And he's not aggressive. Yeah. And he's smart. And I would take uh, uh, my wife. My husband. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Tom. No, I was just going to wait too. No, but she's a lawyer. <laughs> Maybe we're neighbors. <laughs> Fine, I'll be there with Chris. <laughs> um, I feel like having a doctor would be good. So I might go with Abby, Lincoln, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> yes, that's my only choice. <laughs> yeah, he's not aggressive. He's yeah, that, those are the two things that you well, need to Yeah, you don't want to be yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, which character flaw, uh, sorry, which of your character flaws do you most dislike or dislike having to portray? Oh, it's changed over the years, definitely. Um, I think in the beginning I hated Bellamy's cockiness, but it was fun to play. I didn't hate portraying it. Now there's this level of uh, self-loathing that I can, I'm tired of playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think, uh, yeah, that, it's hard. I think Clark's so bloody hard on herself, and I am, um, yeah, that's hard for me, because I'm like, you're doing the best you can, lady. Um, <laughs> So that, that can be hard for me to portray sometimes because I'm like, hang on guys, give her a break. Yeah. yeah. With Josephine, um, oh, it's all just so fun. <laughs> that was really fun, like she's deliciously evil. <laughs> Watching you on set, like just having a really fun time with Josephine. Oh, I love and it. All the rapping and like, yeah, it's it was great. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think like, I just wish that Echo could kind of like laugh a bit more freely, you know? Um, no one laughs at this show. That's true, except for Josephine. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, I have a special request if you don't mind. I'm a 51 year old high school teacher a big fan of the 100, and my students make fun of me, telling me that I'm way too old to be watching the 100. If you don't mind, I'm filming this. From the stars of the 100, what is your response to my students? I actually think our demographic is your age. We yeah. have a massive demographic of old sci-fi fans. 
fans. So, yes. from Battle yes. Star Galactica, we, you know, you guys are absolute loyal fans. So, yeah, you can tell them that. You were there before then, mate. You tell them that. <laughs> Octavia really blood rain when you work with her, and is Murphy really a jerk when you work with him? Oh, yeah. Uh, Richard, 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 Rich
I don't know, like it's kind of one of those things that I did at school and I actually went to university for geological engineering. Um, some engineers out here, great. Yeah, I could be. <laughs> and then went into creative writing and started writing plays. Um, you know, I got a grant when I was 19 and started performing then. I guess I was pretty like, I guess the word would be arrogant because I couldn't find the person to, to, to act in my play, so I did it. Wow, Bob. Um, and so then from there, got into TV and stuff like that. So I guess sort of, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just something that I always, I guess I, I enjoyed doing it. I didn't realize that I loved it until later on. I didn't even really recognize myself as an actor or a performer until probably about season three of the show. I really had a problem with it, kind of calling myself a performer. Um, and watching myself, uh, it's, you know, I'm, I'm highly, highly critical of myself, uh, so it's more of a tool to get better. I can't really enjoy it, to be honest. Um, but there are occasions where you go, oh, that's, that's pretty cool, and you can't kind of step out of that. But for the most part, I'm pretty analytical and can't, can't enjoy it. Yeah. I'm the same way. I can't stay, I can't watch myself on TV. It's a tough time. <laughs> I, I don't know, like when I'm watching the show, sometimes I just like. I won't watch my scenes, I'll watch your guys' scenes. <laughs> Keep going. Um, but in terms of like when I started acting, I was like a pretty strange kid growing up. Um, so I was always like, I was full of energy and I was always creating characters and I was always talking in different voices and I was really kind of like physically expressive and I always wanted to put on performances for my family. And I'm doing it right now. Dancing like Elaine on Seinfeld. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had a lot of energy. My parents put me into acting. I started playing sports, um, soccer, and that kind of took over for a bit. But um, there was, I just always knew that I wanted to be an actress. And I just didn't do that in high school, and I didn't do that in university. I studied actually here in Concordia. I was really not liking my program, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the theater school at Concordia, and I took my first acting class, and I remember it was actually around this time, because it was summertime, and I walked out, and I was like, I'm gonna be an actor! just felt so right, so despite I started when I was a kid and I kind of ignored it throughout most of my life, and I'm really happy that I came back to work because it was just like, it's just, you know, a big part of my life and I love it so much, so. Yeah. And you're damn good too. Oh, thanks, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, hello again. Hi. Um, well, uh, just number one, uh, thank you for the hard work that you guys put into the role because your performances are really uh, captivating. And every time the new season goes up, I watch it right away <laughs> and can't stop watching it. But uh, my question is, if you could be in a movie that was made either before you were born or like when you were really young, so basically a role like you never had the chance to go for, what movie would it be? And I mean, I um, I love uh, I love Karate Kid, but I really would have liked to have been in Back to the Future. Yeah, that would be cool. One, two, or not so much three, but definitely one or two. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I love. Um, I love the movie Almost Famous, and I love the Penny Lane role, so I would love to rank choice. Yeah. I've, Can you dress up as I did for Halloween, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe... I love that answer. <laughs> okay. Um, I love the movie The Princess Bride. It's like my all-time favorite movie. <laughs> and 
I'm like I'm trying to shy. <laughs> Of 
the two characters you've been playing this season that you had the most fun with? What Clark, do you think? <laughs> uh, Clark or Josephine? Um, Josephine has been a ball. I love playing her. It's just, I mean, you know, being able to um, kind of not only really change it up, I mean, we always do, our characters do always grow and evolve, but to actually play a completely different character has been, it was su there's such a breath of fresh air and really challenging, you know, and, um, and it, fun. It's just really exciting, so I have to say that. How good is she in it, by the way? <laughs> surviving but now you have to live do you guys think that individually as like the characters will be able to have their happy ending I would love for my character to be happy um, but you know it's not this show it's basically wrong. It's not yeah, uh, the wrong show yeah yeah, uh, yeah I don't know it'd be lovely you know if we found some sort of peace within ourselves um, and with each other um, but, I mean, it's the hundred. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think that, yeah. I mean, I, would, I think we all want the best for our characters. We all want them to, you know, be happy and stuff like that, but I'm not sure that would make, like, great television, I think. <laughs> or, you know, it's, it's a different show, but, um, yeah. yeah. We do want that, though. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.